This is a double bind. This is a situation in which one cannot win. It was like the election. Assange said, pick your uh, venereal disease. Blogging is like that. One cannot blog. Just give up. What would that mean? Or one can keep at social media. They can keep blogging. They can keep hitting post, publish. I don't know what the button is for uh, videos. Upload. They can continue all that. But they're going to get gaslighted. They're not going to get any page views. They're not going to get much or anything for algorithms. It's going to take tremendous luck for such a person to go viral or even modestly go viral. There's a cap. This is a system in which we're operating within it. Some of us feel that we're able to stay free within the game. We may be fooling ourselves. So a Catch-22, that was a book made into a movie. I don't really know much about it. I know the phrase, double bind, from Alan Watts. This is the bottom line. Trust no one on the internet. You can trust me because I'm a real person and I give the information of who I am and how my life went. It may not be easy to find such materials because I'm not going to advertise it every single show. I'm not even going to advertise it that often. All someone would have to do is ask me a question if they were curious as to who I am, how I survive, this, that, and all the rest. So double bind, catch 22, you can't win, you can't lose. Well, you can lose, you lose either way. That's the key to the thingy. So one thing I've noticed pretty much all the time I've gone checking is that after I make a video, everything I put together, the words, the ideas, they get funneled through a machine, they get processed, then they get copied, they get mimicked, they get distorted. So the catch-22, the uh, double bind, maybe I need to... Uh, look up Catch-22 to make sure I'm not uh, messing up. Like yesterday I spoke up Hell's Angels when it had nothing to do with them. Like it was uh, Aryan Cowboy something. This is not easy. I could never live stream. I would make too many mistakes. It's impossible to have both freeform thought and limited errors. It doesn't work that way. All type of work in regards to uh, literature, science, liberal arts, maybe not science, but liberal arts, the uh, sociology, the history, all this stuff in which we like to write, we like to think, all that stuff takes mistakes. It takes proofreading. It takes research and reflection. The double bind I'm looking at today, in which I cannot win, is that I'm saying they take whatever I come up with because they know it's from someone who graduated with multiple degrees. They know this is coming from someone well-educated. They know I'm the one who was exposed in fake news with Brett Camberlin, Brad Friedman, Raw Story, Daily Kos, Democratic Underground. Maybe a lot of people don't know about that place. Democratic Underground was so bad that I don't even go there ever. I probably last visited that website five years ago, and I don't even remember what it was I was looking at. I haven't been at Daily Cost in eons. I basically wake up. I look at uh, Daily Mail. I still have the ad blocker. I have to play that game I've mentioned before. I look at the headlines, it's easy to download videos, and they're the kind that don't seem to have any copyright issues, so I like to go to Daily Mail to get a quick uh, headline run on what's going on there, and then uh, grab some video if there's anything, because I love video, I don't want to have like uh, Ralph Nader, where he puts up that uh, screenshot.